Okay guys, we're starting from the beginning around the side of the house. And there lies, there's our dragon. There lies our gravestones. Oh, there's the pirates. What's that? Lightning. More tombstones. Oh, that poor guy. He's still stuck in double H in H E double hockey sticks. And then we come around and there's the skeleton warming up by the radioactive fire with his dog. And oh my goodness, it's a giant spider. Look at him. Must be the radioactivity that got him that big. And here's our pumpkin patch with zero. And some more pumpkins and a nice little sign that says, welcome to the pumpkin patch. One more pumpkins. Oh, and look, a new friend thing. The Reaper. Oh. William Butcherson. Ah, here lies good old Fred. And there's Snoopy. And there's our tree. Scary, scary tree. And there's our sign that points to our haunt. And then let's travel down the driveway. Oh my. More lightning? Oh no. What does it say down here? This long, long walk. It says, free candy inside. I wonder what that means. It's tour time. That's what it means. Oh, let's follow the lady in white. Look at that, Beetlejuice in a forest. Wow. And over what here else? we have our barbecue. It's not really going very well. It's kind of um, still a little squishy. Oh. He's not really burning at all. Oh. And over here we have our sisters who tell fortunes. Let's see what we have in store tonight. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Oh, wow. Um, but, uh, that's not looking too good. Um, seems like a terrible fate's going to befall you, but, uh, you know, they're only right about 95% of the time, so I think you'll be part of the 5%. You should be fine. Okay. And what else? Oh, 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 oh my goodness. He just hangs he's, out. He's, he's all covered he's kinda, in flames. He's kind of big. And over here we have Hugsy the Clown. He gives warm hugs. And he's only kidnapped three children tonight. Um, so you can take your chances and go up and hug him. I think we'll skip a hug. Oh, okay. And, and what, are, what, are, what are these? Oh, these are our jack-o'-lanterns. And this one talks a little bit. He has a little bit of an attitude problem. He yawns every time I do this chore. It's kind wow. of weird. Yeah, I know. He's kind of a jerk. Wow. Look at that. And then over here, then, we have our, um, unfortunately, this was our first victim of the night. Oh my goodness. It's kind of the warning to stay away from the spiders. Oh my goodness. How many spiders are here? And oh, oh. we have my friend, Mr. Grim Reaper, who's always liked because he uses this as his timekeeping device. Jerk. <laughs> and over here we have our lovely decor and ooh, so many spiders out tonight. I wonder why we have Oh so many. my goodness. Oh, well, you know, I think our bug zapper's broken. Oops. <laughs> and over here, well, he was supposed to be part of the haunt, but I guess he's just taking a nap. He looks awfully warm, so we shouldn't bother him, but this guy might be kind of friendly. Are you a friendly little guy? Let's see if you're awake at all. Oh no! friendly. Now we know what happened to him. And over here we have the lovely Spiderella. She's the one that did the, all the exterior design out here. She did a wonderful job. And it came at the cost of two sacrifices. Only two. So she's really just a frugal spend. And supporting local businesses is always great. Over here, we have our Scarecrow Union. Um, 
big boss man was not a big fan of these guys getting together, so he kind of made an example of that. Oh one. my goodness. Yeah. He but lost sure, his head. I'm sure the rest of the scarecrows throughout the rest of your journey shall be really nice and sweet. You can follow me through here if you want to. Before you go too far, though, I will say this might be a bit of a scary experience. My friend here. That's all you can say after going through there. So, are you ready to go? I don't hear a no. Let's go. Sure. Also, we're Let's not liable go. for any accidents, injuries, or deaths, mental or physical. Hope to see you at the end. I will admit there have been three disappearances tonight, but we'll resolve at least two of those, I'm sure. This is the odds and ends room, where the mad scientist keeps all of his spare parts. The odds are you might meet your end here, we like to say. You've got spare skulls, you've got some feet, uh, we're actually a little short on thighs. Do we have anyone willing to donate a thigh tonight? <laughs> There's been two takers, and they ran shortly after I got the bone saw out. I do appreciate you guys waiting in line. Uh, the, there was one person who jumped the line, and we just uh, made him part of the display. So, on to the next room! <laughs> this is where you'll find a daughter taking care of her mother. Such a wondrous thing. Oh, you do see that very fr infrequently these days. Because when a parent needs help, it's sometimes used as an inconvenience, but she stepped in and kept her there for 30 days straight so far. And look at that smile on that face. I wish we could all be so lucky as her. Oh, anyway, we had a couple of people wonder what happened in this room. And all I can say is, if you can't understand the sign, well, there's no helping you. <laughs> oh, who's ready to hear about some German folklore? There's a legend of a man named Krampus, who is the opposite of Santa Claus, because he abducts children who don't behave. Do you want to meet him? He's been putting the children's souls into creepy dolls. Come along! Look at that man! And all of his collection! He's only taken five souls tonight, but I'm sure that there's no one here who he'd want to take the soul of right now. That, you know, he, he's probably really retiring for the evening. Yes, yes, I think so. Okay, 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 I'm leaving. Oh, I, I just don't know why he has to have so much blood when he takes their souls. I don't understand how that process even works. Oh, oh anyway. Off we go to the mad scientist's laboratory. As you can see, Chucky is the lab assistant, and he has not been very good about that. We've got banshees coming out of the ceiling, and he's letting all of the zombies break out of their crates. That's just, that's just negligence right there. Speaking of negligence, this guy, he was supposed to be fed and watered for the last two weeks, and now he's just bones. I don't blame Chucky, though. You really do have to blame the upper management, a.k.a. the mad scientist. I, I think he's been doing a terrible job, but I don't tell him because he hates me. So if you could just go ahead and tell him for me, I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead, around the corner, tell him how bad a job he's done. There we go. That really did brighten his composure there. Oh, and I forgot it was the lunar cycle of the month. I should have warned you. But around the corner, past him, you'll find the happy couple. Two years they've been married. And I'll tell you, um, they're not married very lately, like I'll say. Call them the newlyheads. Two years of bliss. Thank you for stopping by. I could never make it through the lab without help. How tell me? You survived your tour. Watch your step. <laughs>